Welcome guys to a, another video where I'm going to be talking about something that may hit home with every guy that's watching this video. And that is a man's greatest shame. A man's greatest shame, to let you guys know, is being seen. One of the things that has haunted me since I was little was being seen by others. This place of vulnerability. Because our whole life as men, we're taught to put on a shell. And that shell keeps us from being seen. Especially in relation to women. When we're younger and we're in school and we like the girl, we didn't want to show her. We didn't. We're like, man, we're afraid that the girl won't like us. We're afraid that, you know, We'll try and our friends will make fun of us. <clears throat> We're afraid that she likes Jeff and, and, and not me. We're just afraid of something. And as you become afraid of this, it starts to build shells around you. And these shells are protections from being seen. Being seen is something that I feel has unlocked me and has made me the most scared. The way that it has unlocked me is it allowed me to understand that unless I remove the protection mechanisms, unless I allow myself to be, I'll never ever really be the man that I want to. That's the way that it has unlocked me. But on the flip side of that, it has been the most scary thing that I have to deal with in my life. Being seen by women that I like them, that I'm interested in them sexually. Being seen by others that I'm a man that is heartfelt. Being seen by my friends in the sense of them seeing parts of me that I feel that I'm ashamed of. Just constantly having this fear of being, shamed, of being seen. This shame around, you know, if I'm seen and I'm not totally okay, then I'm not valuable. And there's so many guys that I coach who go through the same thing of, I struggle with being valuable I feel like I need to be this. I feel like I need to make sure everything's together in my life before I start to do the things that I want to do. AKA, before I start to get the women in my life who I want to get into my life. So what does this lead a man to doing? This leads a man to fixing every part of his life before he gets to women. So you may notice that it's easy for you or in some way a little bit of a challenge for you to start to do meditation, to start to do yoga, to start to do active sports, working out, yada yada. To do any of these things, you may notice that this is more simple and I'll just push away the thing that's gonna really make me feel seen. That's the cycle. We do all these things and what's crazy is that you may actually do all these things as a protection as well to not being seen. You do, you do, you do, you do, you do, just so you can maintain this image of I'm okay. And that's the image that you're maintaining but underneath you're really not okay. How did I frame mine? I tried to always make it seem like I was right. I wanted to make sure that I always did things that are morally right so I can be seen as a good guy. Going to church, making sure I was the guy that when women wanted to talk to me, I would stay there and I gave them the time of day because I attracted women who had baggage. Making sure that I don't say things to hurt people's feelings because you know what, I'm a good guy. Constantly always putting everything in front of me 
to get myself away from being seen. And the most daunting way of being seen that you're not perfect as a man is by a woman. It's the most daunting way that we can be seen. Because we, we put so much value around a woman seeing us as something that many of the times we put our power in their court. We go, I give you the liberty and I give you the position to tell me whether or not I'm worthy. I give you that. And you're not consciously doing this, you're unconsciously doing this. You know how you're doing this? Being too nice. Always affirming her that everything that she says is okay. When she gets mad, always trying to bring it back to, okay, baby, you don't have to be mad. Uh, let's, let's see if we can work through this. Always trying to make sure that she's feeling in some way good so she can validate the part of you that you are a good guy. That you are a man that has your shit together. It's insane that we do this as a man. It's insane. Being seen is the hardest thing that we can go through as a man because our whole life we are taught to protect ourselves from everything. We are taught to go and do things and be hard while you do it. Vulnerability in itself is something that you shouldn't do as a man because guess what? That means that you're weak. And the fact that it means that you're weak, that means that anytime you exploit, you show your emotions, you're weak. Anytime you show that you don't have your shit together, you're weak. Any of the times that you show that right now in this moment, I don't know, you're weak. Because you need to know for you to be okay and for you to be valuable to women. You need to know. And I felt like I needed to know. I felt like if I didn't know, then I wasn't valuable. So that means that I couldn't get beautiful women. I felt like beautiful women wanted certain things. A man that's confident. A man that's successful. A man who's handsome, tall, all the way down the line. And I felt it would have been a, it was a struggle. Because at the time, I wasn't any of those things. It's a struggle. How can I be those things when I'm a, maybe you, when I'm a short guy who looks like this, who works at this place, how can I be the thing that beautiful women want? What if she sees the part of me that's not confident? What if she sees the part of me that's shameful about certain things? What would happen? And I'm here to tell you that as much as I went down that road, it led me to just one simple thing. Whatever you feel is not okay, allow that to be the thing that you come to peace with. And that means, if you feel like right now you're not confident around women, become at peace with that, which means accept that and say, okay, I'm not good with women right now. I'm not confident. I'm not a man right now who's successful. I don't feel like I'm that. I feel like I'm the lowest that, a, that on the spectrum of what a woman wants. I feel like I'm the lowest. And the thing I want you to understand is that that is okay. Right now, that is okay. Because you're only in the beginning. That is okay. Come to peace with that. Allow yourself to accept the fact that right now, this is where I'm at. I'm willing to change this and I'm in the process of changing this, but I don't need to make it I don't want I don't need to make it seem like I have it all together. Cuz this is the thread that I've been playing out my whole life and like all men play out that they have it together. They're totally fine. That I'm cool. No, I'm not going to approach that girl cuz man, she's in a rush. Knowing that you're just afraid that if you go talk to her, she's going to blow you out. That's what you're afraid of. Making it seem like you always have it together, like you always know. And that leads into what? Perfectionism. That leads into you feeling like if you don't have the right answer, then you're stupid. These behaviors start to concoct. And then they start to concoct on the inside of you and they, you, they want to be, so to speak, released. They're trapped by the protection. So make sure that anything that you feel that's a protection, 
that you start to look at it and it comes to peace with it. Because this is the route that I had to take. I had to take this route to understand, you know what? If I really want to have the sex life that I want, if I really want to have the women in life I want, if I want to be the man that I want to be, then I must understand that I must be okay being seen as what I am right now. No, I'm not the most handsome. No, I'm not, the, I'm not tall. I'm five foot seven. No, I'm not, I'm not a guy who is totally, I feel like I'm totally comfortable standing in front of a beautiful girl who's interesting and beautiful as a person. No, I don't feel comfortable standing in front of her. I don't. I feel like that girl is intimidating right now. I feel like that because you know why? Because I'm still working on the inside of myself and I don't know if those type of girls will go for me. That's what I feel right now. I had to do this to myself because it wasn't until I got real with myself that I started to see the truth. And the truth is, every woman that you walk up to has insecurities like you. The truth is, every woman that you see on the street and you go, that woman will want a guy like this, and if I'm not like that, that that's just your perception, and you don't know the truth. You're just allowing that to protect you from what, what if she did like you. And of course, if she did like you, you're afraid that she would see you as not being the man who's confident and whole. To let you know, it is okay that you're in front of a woman that's beautiful and you don't have it all together. Because if she even sees that, she may, she may have compassion for it, she may try to test it, but if you're okay with it, even if she tries to test it with what happens most of the time, you're just okay going, yeah, that's the way I feel. She goes, you look like you're a bit nervous. And like, yeah, I am nervous. Because you know what that does? It lets her know that I'm real. It lets her know that, yeah, this is, what it, this is what it is. And if she's a real, as guys say, quality woman, she has compassion for pain. She has compassion for a man who's not okay because she knows that I'm not fu fully okay. Those are the kind of women you want anyway. Women who are able to go, I have empathy for the fact that you're nervous because I definitely i am not always a girl that's okay. Sometimes I feel nervous. That's what you start to get though. You start to get women who actually can now give you a chance. But you never give yourself a chance by hiding. When you're hiding when you go up to a woman, it, and, this, and this doesn't mean going up to women and constantly saying I'm nervous. It doesn't mean like constantly going to women and saying, uh, when I was younger, my dad used to beat me. No, it's not by you just going up and just blurting the stuff out. But it is allowing yourself to be real with what's in the moment. With the way you feel. It's okay saying to a woman, you know, I was standing over there and it took me a long time to come talk to you. But now that I'm here, I'm nervous, but you look beautiful to me. I can guarantee you she will feel compassion for you. Many of the times women do. Unless she's arrogant or unless she's totally insensitive, she will completely feel compassion for where you are. That started to happen to me. I remember being in front of women and when I was first starting out and I started to just be real, I was running in front of a girl and I was just feel in front of her like, fuck, man, I'm nervous. And I would just grab her hand and put it on my chest. And then she would just start smiling and she would blush because in some way she knows I made you feel like that. I started to do many different things. I would just go, I mean, one girl in particular, I was learning how to just stay a course with what it is that I want. And she's like, oh, you know, I have a friend that you would like. And she starts flipping through her fucking photos trying to find her friend. And I remember feeling in that moment, I don't want your friend. I want you, but I was like oscillating between, should I say it, should I not say it? I just went, I'm gonna say it, fuck this, because I do want her. And I just went, okay, you gotta stop looking through your phone for your friend. She's like, why? I say, because I don't want your friend, I want you. Then she just went, when are you free? And that's, of course, you know where that story led to. So, I started to go, you know what? I have to be seen, like my desires need to be seen. I want to get to know this woman. I need to let it be seen. Through my body and eyes, I need to let it be seen. 
One of the greatest things I teach a guy in workshop is the number one way that a woman will know that you're interested in her or what type of man you are is the way you express yourself through your eyes and your body. That's the most clear way she'll know. So you can say all that you want, but she'll be looking at and feeling into your eyes and your body. What's happening with you? What is the way that you move? So coming back, I had to just start revealing these desires that I have. I do have a sexual desire, yes. Is that scary being seen? Absolutely. In the beginning, it was fucking scary, especially me coming out of Christianity, it was fucking scary. I do have a desire to get to know this woman at a deep level and have an emotional connection. Do I, do I, did I feel at points like, yeah, maybe I'm just too feminine or I'm just too girly and maybe she's a, she doesn't want that or I need to be more like guys in the community where I'm just kind of being distant in the beginning and then later on being that way? It was scary to me. I know I had a desire to appreciate her in a way that was complete and interesting to me specifically. So if I wanted to tell her that I think that she... And I just look her up and down. I don't know. I just want to say hello. If that's the truth, then I had to allow that. Was it strange? Absolutely. I remember walking up to girls, and of course I still do now, and I just go, if whatever truth comes out of me, I just go, wow. And they feel like they just know that the energy is there of appreciation. And of course that cracks a woman to the depth of her heart when you do it. For you guys going for it, I would like for you to now come to terms with being seen, being vulnerable. And being vulnerable doesn't mean being weak, it means being you. Who you are naturally has desires. Who you are naturally wants to connect with the women that you see. Who you are when you're in front of a woman, naturally wants to take her to the bedroom because you want her. Who you are wants to appreciate who you are is curious about her at every level of herself. And who you are is this moment and wants to be there totally present to her. Your eyes will show this. A woman will notice through your eyes and she will notice through the way you move. If you feel nervous, say it. Start by just being seen and being blatantly obvious about the fact you feel nervous. You don't have to look around and allow the nervousness to take over you. Look her in the eyes and if you feel your heart racing and you feel like you want to move, just say right now, it's just hard for me to keep it together because you're so beautiful and I'm affected by you. And what you'll notice is that her response many of the times, most of the times, will be, oh, that's fine, there's no need to be nervous or, uh, yeah, I mean, coming up to girls like this, this is brave. You'll, have, you'll see many girls say that. Because you have to understand that what they desire and what all people desire the most at, 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 at the core is to be real. That's what they desire. I don't care what they say, how much facades they put up, how much protection that they have, they want to be real. They don't want the facades. People don't want the protection. They don't want the fakeness. They don't want this. But we live in a society where that's the way to do it. That's the way to stay safe. That's the way to actually stay sane. And that's the way to run from yourself. Because if you really show yourself, what if it's not accepted? What if it's totally outrageous? Do you think, do you think me, because I'm a guy that's caring and loving and, and, and gentle and, and and strong, do you think <clears throat> that is what every woman wants when I walk up to them? At the depth, yeah. But when her beliefs and her protections are up, do you think she's seeing all that? Fuck no. She may be seeing Salee sometimes. Maybe sometimes she's seeing a guy who's, some, I remember one girl, she was like, oh my God, you're, too, you're so romantic, or something like that. And her just not, not being attracted to that because what she's attracted to is a guy who's less romantic. And I remember being with another girl and her saying to me, I really don't like guys who are romantic. Even though we're together, she said that. And I was like, well, I'm a romantic man. I like, I love saying sweet stuff and things like that. That's what I am. She's just like, okay. And I made sure with her, I wasn't like being romantic and stuff like that because I was adjusting to her. 
But I wasn't afraid to tell her that uh, I think you're a great person. And she always would not understand that. And then one day she reciprocated it. And she's like, I never met a person like you. And it start, she started to soften to the part of herself that just understood it's okay to be like that. Because she always felt like men were like muscles and this, this, and this. Being seen is scary. It hurts. It feels uncomfortable. Because guess what? I walk through that and I continuously walk through that every day. More so now in very subtle ways, me catching things now. But in the beginning, man, it was scary. So scary. So never try to get away from the fact that it's not scary, uncomfortable, nervous to do it. And that you feel shame around it. That you feel shameful that you're a man who is so sexual. Maybe you feel like you're a kinky. Don't feel shameful about that. That's an expression from you. Understand that once you accept that that's a part of you and you start to be okay with being seen in these parts Then women have no choice but to accept you or respect you That's the two choices you left with And that's all based on you Be present Allow yourself to be seen and be blatantly obvious to see where it takes you. But for now, I just want to tell you guys that I have a free course that I want to give you. Please go over to the description box because it lies there. It's meat to bedroom, everything from the pickup all the way to the bedroom, how to do it, I break it down. And until next video, I'll see you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, I'm always giving you something new. And it's also something new that I want to give you. I've created a video series, which is Approach to Bedroom. And I'll be showing you everything from what do you say upon an approach, not what to say, but how you can say what you want to say, and being able to have the mindsets to go with that, being able to be in conversation, being able to take the woman home. And along this path, just giving you insights into things that may pop up to give you issues. I've covered it in this video series that, you know, packed full of about three hours of me just giving you guys everything that I can say is going to be the best from approach to bedroom. If you want this, it's totally free. If you want this, click the link below and what will happen is that you'll get a video series sent right to you and check it out. Until next time, I'm out.